Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Ali Rida Zaidi. I am D365 for Finance and Operation Consultant. So in this video we are going to explore the sales categories in D365 for Finance and Operations and why we need it. Sometimes we require categories to inherit a lot of properties or attributes on product associated with these categories. At the time of recording I am using the 10.0.37 version of disease d5 for finance and operation and i'm using the usmf legal entity and working on a contoso data so if we go into sales and marketing module and then setup and then categories here are our sales categories so currently I configured sales category 5.0 and it has two subcategories for clothes. Let's go to configure our new sales category. Own sales category hierarchy. For this you have to go product management and info product information management and then setup and these are the category and category hierarchy so i am going to create a new sales category hierarchy click on a new i am putting sales error create button so here are a complete page for this category hierarchy but here we have to define a new categories these categories can be a multi-level so i'm going to create a new first of all new category so i put its name says category right and if i have some code i can add sales now i have a friendly name so main category if i have some name so i can put here some keywords i want to search main first one base or something then here is a, a category display order and then there is a very important concept that classifies as a tangible product it means that these category belongs to those items which did not need to inventorized it did not stop us but we can classify here so uh, i'm going to create a two new subcategories and then divide them one is services suppose our organization is services provide the services for installation of different softwares for example it's like a windows erps implementation software development implementations software development and coding erp implementations crm implementation so we are putting those quotations or sales orders with respect to sales category so i put and are selling the clothes So clothes are a tangible so i'm putting it a tangible yes now in the services i am going to create a new category you can see it's a child category so we provide the window installation services window installation services this means ser001 and then we have a description Then we have a category for window installation and category keywords you can we can mention anything and I want to I have a uh, three services but I want to display the second level right then I put a uh, select again and put here CRM implementation
S E R S E R zero zero two. Right. Active. We provide provide C R M implementation services. Right and C R M. We friendly name is a CRM and we want to put its first level right then we have one more category that is and these are our services okay in clothes we have a uh, three types of clothes number one men's clothes one and kids clothes is theory right so if we want we can set a keywords products so if we want to add a few product or in these categories we can directly add or we can attach these categories on a product directly so we can select from here it is possible to add we can select multiple products here as per our requirement and we can do that I'm not going to add then there will be a category attributes so what are the advantage of category attributes I already mentioned that during a starting point that one of the benefit of creating a category to configure a default attributes and these attributes are inherent to all subcategories and automatically inherent to the products so category attributes are extra what are the attributes attributes are extra properties which of you want to add or you want to display on a product whatever you required you can configure here it's a uh, different types of you can you can define dates you can define free text you can define a drop downs or you can define no yes all those attributes you can define and here is the button that you can uh, you can enable inherent category from the attributes for example if i select here on a clothes and i want to add anti reflect aw fabric aw fill i put uh, these category these attributes and I click OK and then I select the inherent from a from child and same inherent inherent to inherent to when I click on a yes automatically inherent from the parent category then comes a commodity code commodity code means some international codes are available for so, so we can associate with these categories so i am going to add a few these are the community code that comes with the demo data so we can use it for example pens or pencil set we can use the these so advertisement computers procurement uh, crop procurement highlights office and desk office machines so these are the community codes that we can use so we can apply a few community code here because these are all services related to software installation so i select a cop computers okay so in this way we can add and then comes one more page that is relevant to a category that would define a category page that is related to our retail or we can create so I'm going to create a we can define board you can see I can select the heading one I can find the board I can even define the links for example www.google.com and I select it and make it I can make it URL so I can put a URL here www.google.com right 
I click on OK. So it is in this way we can define a page for a category that will be helpful in uh, that will helpful in the detail or when you are using the uh, when are you are integrating these categories with third party tools or a uh, online retail stores only retail stores or online websites so where this category page can be very helpful then comes a translation so microsoft provide the functionality that with respect to languages you can add different translations whenever this this is five is access in that language so these three things can be converted into their own language what is the original text is a description friendly name and search name so we can define these in a different language if it is required that some categories are inactive so i'm going to select kids as a inactive category hierarchy role association so you can see if we see sales category the sales category 5.0 is already active so if i'm going to create a new and add a multiple it did not allow me for example i select the sales category and then i select the my defined sales category that is this so when i click on save it give me error that a different hierarchy for this role is exist so i am going to i say select a delete and then i select this one and then going to delete this one five yes and then i am defining a new category hierarchy in a system that is sales category hierarchy and i also select my last created latest created sales category hierarchy 6.0 so i'm going to save it it did not give me the error so let's see what our sales categories are configured or not so 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 let's see what are the sales categories comes in sales and marketing module so if i am going again in sales and marketing module and categories and sales categories so you can see our sales category is set here you can see if i see the clothes the women clothes has a one sorting men's cloth is a two and kids has a three sorting level and CRM implementation is one windows services is two and software lessons is three so it automatically sorted these according to our setup so i'm going to redefine sales is coming as one services is coming as theory and crm implementation coming as two i'm going to save it and then let's see what will happen here so again if i come and open the sales category expand the sales you can see the, it automatically sorted according to that way so now i'm going to configure so this this is the sales category configuration now i'm going to configure a posting profile so for posting profile we are going to set up our revenue for this we have to go inventory management posting and then we have a posting profiles so if you can see this is the sale orders and here we have a revenue so here we have a two main accounts that can be used for product you can be used for a revenue for example the main account for a product sales and if we go for this these are a services revenue so we have a two categories so we are going to apply apply this for example i'm going to select click an item code from here i select a category instead of for item i select a category 
and here I select a category relation active sales category is here so I have a clothes as a tangible so I select OK and then I from a main account I put 41 so it give me a revenue accounts so okay so see clothes are a tangible so I select a product revenue so it automatically apply to all subgroups now I'm going to in a sale order and then give a sale order for a services so I am going sales and marketing then sale order I'm going to create a new sale order customer is I created a this customer in a previous video or some other exercise and storage dimension is 1 11 and I put I did not want to use a delivery date functionality I put a non delivery code and CFR code is coming automatically I click on OK instead to create items I am going to select a sales category so I am going into a services and I am selling to my customer a software licensing right put a one and I am going to charge ten thousand dollars right and now I am going to confirm and then posting a packing slip because these are the services not exactly true items so I'm not going to create a pick so I confirm now so sale order is confirmed after that I click and post a packing slip hmm. quantity all and then software license is equal to update one quantity thousand and click ok so our packing slip is posted mm -hmm. and you can see delivery and i'm going back and now i'm going to invoice this generate invoice I generate the invoice against a packing slip I'm putting ok click ok our invoice is posted so this is the quick overview where I explain you how you can create a sales category uh, and the advantage of category is configuring some properties like attribute that it automatically goes to products associated with these categories secondly we can sell these categories instead of items for a major need for a sales category is to sell us services instead to we provide sell items we can provide the category category and then the major advantage is reporting we can create a different types of reporting against the specific product product category and result will be come from the calculation will be come from the all the products in that category thank you for watching see you in another video